What's, what's the problem? Last week on The Amazing Chase. Sam and Carrie lost valuable time trying to get across the moat, while Jen and Brad just lost their cool. But Mike and Dan used their high school geometry skills to win the challenge and catapult themselves into first place. Will Mike and Dan be able to keep their lead? Find out on tonight's episode of The Amazing Chase. Dan and Mike, who arrived at 1835 yesterday, will be the first to depart 12 hours later at 635 today. Oh, it's a northeast, southwest. I hate these. What does it say? Hike north through the woods for 300 yards, hike east for a half mile. Uh, turn south and hike 1,000 feet. Finally turn west and hike 800 meters to find your next task. Well, if we hike north for 300 yards and then turn east to- Let's just hike. No, but if we think about it, we can... If we spend all day thinking about it, we'll lose our lead. Now let's go. He's my best friend and all, but uh, sometimes I just... I think he needs to just chill out and think about the problem. Maybe break it down into smaller parts. Just think about it. Jen and Brad, who arrived at 2010 yesterday, will be the oh. second to depart 12 hours later at 810. North, south, east, west. Hike north through the woods for 300 yards, then hike north. North, that way, let's go. 295, 296, 297, 298, 299, 300. Okay, now east? That's 300 feet, not yards. 300 feet is 100 yards. Yards. I thought you said feet. No, yards. 300 yards. 301, 302, 303. Carrie and Sam, who arrived at 2040 yesterday, will be the last to depart 12 hours later at 840. North, east, southwest. Hike north through the woods for 300 yards, then hike east for one half mile, then south 1,000 feet, and west 800 meters to find your first task. The task is south from here. That should be like 100 feet. This is Heritage Lake, Ohio, beneath Hamilton Hill, and the location of our next task. This task, an eeny, meeny, miny, mo, will force each team to make a choice. In order to reach the finish line, each team must choose to either hike through the forest, canoe across the lake, or to bike along a trail around the lake. The teams will be given a compass, ruler, maps, and a variety of tools in order to help them choose the best route to their destination. And speed is important because the last team to arrive will be eliminated. Huh. Rough night at the park last night, but not as rough as my buddy Tommy. He had a heck of a wipeout. You could probably use a pad or two, but I'm low on dough, so let's just make some. First, get yourself a long piece of foam, 1.5 millimeters thick. If I fold that over three times, how thick will it be? Well, it's already 1.5 millimeters thick, so A's out. If I fold it over once, it becomes three millimeters thick. If I fold it over again, it becomes six millimeters thick, so B's out. If I fold it over the third time, it becomes 12 millimeters thick. So the answer's gotta be C. Oh, I better hurry up and get these pads to Tommy. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Choose the quickest of the three pads. Use the tools provided to help make a decision. Look, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. So hiking is the fastest path. Well, let's do it.
Well, we're in the lead. Come on. Don't slow down. Don't slow down. Hey, man. Hiking's going to be the shortest distance. Ah, uh, but look at the profile map. What's that? Well, this one shows distance. And this one shows depth. And about a mile that way, gravity is going to become a whole lot more important. I just thought that a straight line would be fast. Oh, well, <laughs> who would have thought that a third dimension would have come into play? And this way is a heck of a lot flatter. And the distance isn't too much further. Let's do it. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. All right, so we choose the quickest path and use these things. Look, there's cliffs on the hike, but the canoe is perfectly flat. Yeah, but... But what? We can bike 20 miles an hour and stay dry, or we can canoe at four. We get the bike, we get the bike! Let's go. Welcome to the woods, man. Congratulations, your team number one. <laughs>